So here we have a very special new 96 boards. This is a big one. So hi, so who are you? Uh, I'm Tom from Vemers. I'm the product manager of Vemers. So you Tom Chuby? Uh, yes, Tom Chuby. Tom Chuby, right? Yeah. So uh, you make development boards for a long time? Ah, uh, yes, since 2012. And you, so you do QB board, uh, very famous, right? Ah, uh, yes. QB board, and what else after this? And uh, Rexa, and uh, Rexa was uh, sold to another big manufacturer in Shenzhen. So uh, we started uh, Vemers uh, last year. So this is the, there's two new boards right here. You yeah. have a small one and a big one with rock shape 3399. Yeah. So um, this one available now? Uh, that one is in production now and will be available uh, in, in, in global distributors like C Studio maybe in next month. And the name is? Uh, Rock, 90, Rock 960. So Rock 960 is a 96 boards uh, CE, CE, stand CE standard. Yeah, CE standard. And this is a giant one. Yeah, it's big one. a yeah, big one. Uh, they call it the Rock 960 EE version, but it also has a name called the Ficus. F I C U S. Ficus. Ficus. Yeah. And uh, so let's let's uh, if you can hold it right here, you can show yeah. around. Okay. Let's check all the uh, the ports that you have. This is uh, following the 96 boards Enterprise Edition yeah. format, right? Yeah, Enterprise Edition. So uh, that's a bigger, like uh, three yeah. times bigger than this. Yes. So what ports do you have here? Uh, we have two uh, USB 3 and also one one USB 3 internal and uh, a management port, uh, Earthnet, 100 uh, megabit, and the two USB 2, and uh, here we have uh, uh, REST 3 USB, USB 2 internal, and the one Type-C port, and the Wi-Fi, and the Bluetooth, and here we have a uh, um, DC jack, and also a 8 AT chart 12, 12 jack, and HDMI, and uh, uh, micro SD card, and uh, GPE, GEB, and Gigabit LAN. Uh, yeah, Gigabit LAN, yeah. And uh, dual SATA. Uh, and the SATA power. Here, here we have this SPD. With this this yeah. dual SATA, so what you connect hard drive? Or what uh, you yeah, we can connect uh, SSD. SSD or, or hard drive, yes. Here we have a uh, PCIe. Yeah, it's a standard uh, 16 slot PCIe. But actually, uh, the, the, the chip has only four lengths. So, but we, we implement the, the 16 slot. For, for, for compatibility. How do you do that? It just the rest of the signal are empty, so it comp it can you can actually insert any any PCI card from uh, one one slot to to sixteen slot. What is this PCI card here? Uh, actually, it's a PCI. It, it's it's uh, it's an um, it's a PCI to M.2 convert card, so you can connect M.2 from the PCI. So more storage, fast storage, yeah, right? Yeah, fast storage. It's very it's fast. It's very, very fast. This is 256 GB? Uh, fast. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, can you also connect uh, NVIDIA GPU? What can, what can you do? Uh, in theory it can, but actually cannot, because there is, uh, there is some limitation for, for the rock chip 3399. The, the address, the bar, the base, base, base address re 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 region is, is only uh, 32 megabytes. So Actually, you can only have the, the GPU of memory of limited to 32 megabyte. 32 megabyte of what of, memory? What of, is it called? Of the, the GPU memory. GPU memory yeah, because of limitation. external GPU. Yeah, yeah. Or just limitation. So basically, the GPU is useless. So um, just to have an idea, so what other ideas can be possible with PCIe? For example, hey, what's a really good one? Uh, for, for example, if you want to connect uh, uh, external, um, maybe uh, hardware accelerator, uh, FPGA or external a uh, NPU or external mm. maybe uh, PCIe to SATA or PCIe to multiple uh, Earthnet. So it's, uh, so faster networking. Yeah, fast networking, faster storage. storage yeah, uh, faster, faster data processing. Like FPGA and FPGA. what other? Yeah. Like a DSP. DSP. Yeah. FPGA. You can add some DSP. Yeah. You can add some FPGA. FPGA and NPU. You add some other NPU. ARM. Some more arm? Hey, more arm is possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Would be like you can connect this one in maybe? Okay, uh, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can actually communicate via, you know, uh, via the PCIe to PCIe slot. PCIe, yeah. Whoa, so they can. So what uh, could actually they? Actually, they can, yeah. To yeah. do, and how would that work? Hey, 
they just communicate, just the data, they can uh, exchange data. So uh, this is a very big potential, right? What's the price? Yeah. Can you hold? Okay, we are hold? planning Cash. to, you know, start from $99. What? $99. $99? Yeah. For this? For this, yes. And how much for this one? Also $99. <laughs> but, but yeah, with a different configuration. So. Mm -hmm. So we are uh, plan. We are actually mm, cost make, making this one uh, the the cost are lower. So with some uh, change. So, so we, we let's come back to this one second. So yeah. what do you mean ninety nine ninety nine dollars? So for ninety nine you can for for this one yeah we start from one one GB RAM, one GB only. Yeah, one GB. How about two GB, uh, four GB, eight GB? Four. four. Sorry, I'm for, too fast. For two, two, two GB <laughs> maybe uh, one hundred and twenty nine. So four GB one hundred and uh, forty nine. And 8GB. 8GB. 8GB actually uh, not possible due to the RK399 limitation. You sure? Yeah. It will not happen? N not happen, yes. Okay, 4GB maximum then. Yeah. 149. 149. It's yeah. very good price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. So very how many do you will sell, do you think? Hey. <laughs> we don't have any estimation now. <laughs> hey, what's under here? Oh, here we have... Mm, it's a mini PCIe for the 4G, 4G module, and here we have uh, another M.2 connector. Actually, it's for the the MCU for the for the management port. So this MCU can can you know have access to the 4G. So basically, the MCU is a, a separate OS and uh, from from the 399. So basically, the uh, the MCU can manage the 399 to control the power of the 399 to reset, to power on off, and to recover the 399 system. MCU? Yeah, it's an MCU. What is uh, what what MCU? Which one? Uh, actually, it's a a, a WT node. So it's from it's a router router chip. A so router chip. Yes, with with uh, with the the Earthnet and uh, with the 4G 4G connection. Hmm. So the the modem control the CPU. Uh, actually, uh, the, the 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 router chip have access to the modem, and the router chip can control the 399. Power levels. Uh, yeah, power levels. Yes. And the uh, performance levels or something. Uh, perf performance no for the. Power and uh, for the recovery for the cons console. Nice. So uh, this is a, a very cool uh, chipset, the three three nine nine, right? Is a six six core. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's right uh, in my Chromebook. Yeah. Okay. okay. So so uh, it's great for Chromebook. So can you run? Yeah. yeah I'll turn off the sound. <laughs> so uh, it's it can do Chrome OS. Uh, actually, Ubuntu, yes, Debian, Debian, Ubuntu, uh, Chrome OS, so uh, 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 a version of Chrome OS called Flint OS. We have actually partnered with them. Who's uh, who's doing this? A uh, 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 Chinese based the company. They make a Chromium OS based the uh, distributions called Flint OS. Nice. Is it good? Yes, yeah, good. Same as uh, like Chromebook. Ah, yes, yeah, same. Basically the same, but with uh, without Google. Yeah, without Google or with Google or only with, with other. Only with Baidu. <laughs> no, no, no Baidu. <laughs> no. With access, access for Chinese government. Ah, yeah. No, I'm joking a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No Chinese government, right? Yeah. Uh, so, this is for sale. How soon? Hey, currently it's still uh, at the engineering sample stage. Uh, we have basically uh, several samples and uh, actually the whole board actually uh, working. It's so, working, yeah, samples, it's working samples, mass and, production. Uh, yeah, we, we need some work for, for the MCU here to, you know, to, 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 to control to, to switch in and then, but it can work uh, uh, without, without the MCU stand alone. It's also okay. Also okay. Yeah. Um, and the RAM is right here? Yeah, RAM here. How much RAM is on this one? It currently, this one should be 2, two GB. 2 GB? Yeah. Alright. Uh, cool. That's awesome. Uh, let's try the small one here. So what, what are you showing here? Here, uh, we are showing actually... Uh, uh, the, the, actually, we are showing the, the AI acceleration of, for, of the, the GPU here. OpenCL with OpenCL. Uh, so, so this board is available now. Uh, this board uh, available next month. Next month, yeah. yeah. 
maybe we'll uh, start to taking orders soon. Many people are waiting for this, right? Uh, yes. How many people yes. are waiting? Maybe hundreds. Hundreds send you email and say, where is it? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. We are actually under uh, pressure. Uh, it takes uh, longer than, than, than expected because we are actually working with the uh, OpenAI lab to, you know, to, to run the AI stack on, on, this, on this board. And we found the, the actually um, it consumed a lot of uh, CPU and GPU power and the, the, the board is very, very hot. And also we are fixing some um, low level, the performance related issues. So, so it takes longer to, 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 to pr 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 product. So, um, and the OpenAI lab is doing the kind of like open source AI framework uh, f for like age a edge AI or for the future of AI. What is that? The OpenAI lab. How would uh, you describe it? OpenAI lab actually is founded by ARM and Orwinner and Horizon Robotics. They focus on the ARM uh, AI related uh, uh, low level framework or, or libraries. And uh, they, they provide op optimi optimized uh, uh, code for, for, for AI execution. And so this is very compact, a nice board. Uh, what people will do with it, do you think? A, currently, uh, many related camera related uh, projects, such as a uh, image analysis and analyzing, and, uh, or, or face recognition, or security related. So there's a camera look at me right now. Uh, yes. And what it, what it can do? It can detect your face and if you have your hand here, it, yes. Can, yeah, it can remember you. So, yeah. Now, I'm back. Yeah, it it says my name, Charbex? Uh, no. no, but it have an ID for you now. So All right. It knows you now. So I'm number seven yeah. today uh, who looked at this. And this software, what is that? Uh, it it kept it actually running on top of the uh, open open AI lab, so they, they have. So open AI lab is a uh, Linux based. Uh, uh, yes, they provide actually uh, libraries and uh, and uh, and software stacks, uh, not a distribution. Currently, it's running on uh, Ubuntu. Uh, so it can run on any distribution. Yes, yes, actually any distribution. Android. Android, yeah, also possible. And uh, Debian, Ubuntu. Debian, Ubuntu, yeah. Um, which is your favorite Linux? Oh, it's hard to say. <laughs> Do you use Linux in your computer? Ah, uh, yes, of course. W which one right now? Uh, currently Ubuntu for development. Ubuntu, yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So, uh, how many people in your company? Uh, currently. Yeah. Uh, two. Two. Uh, two. 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 Yeah. Just two. Just two. Yeah. yeah. Two. Two. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, so hi. So you also in the company? Yes, I'm Luffy from Vemers. All right. So, uh, what is your job? What is your job? What do you? What do? You, how do you share the the, the work? Uh, marketing is me, and the product manager is uh, Tom QB. Yes, you know Tom QB is back. <laughs> it's very so. cool. So yeah. uh, thanks, thanks for being on my video. That's cool. So, uh, so this is cool. Ninety nine, ninety nine. Uh, yeah, different. Where's your office? Uh, we're based in Shenzhen, Bahrain. And um, all right, so Rockchip partnership, uh, uh, make it available. The, this this one is connected with all these, running right now with the hub, hub yeah. Type C, yeah. getting the power through all these cables you have right here. Cool. Um, how about Windows? Windows Windows Maybe. support? Uh, no, 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 no Windows. No, no Windows. Uh, how about Sailfish OS? No. No? No. Just Ubuntu, Debian, something? Yeah, maybe uh, recently WebOS is uh, open embedded based, so maybe uh, it's possible. Is it possible that um, these uh, Debian, Ubuntu, and these kind of OS can be GPU accelerated? Uh, yes, currently it's, uh, you know, this, uh, this currently running is GPU accelerated with OpenCL. So, mm, how do you how do you get that? It's a Mali GPU, right? Yeah, it's Mali GPU, and uh, actually ARM provided the the, 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 the GPU libraries, the, the OpenCL libraries, and yeah. the, the the driver driver level is uh, actually open source. So open source, but with hardware accelerated GPU. And not not fully open source, only driver open source. But the, the uh, OpenCL and OpenGL library user user space libraries are closed. Is it libhybris? 
Uh, no, 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 live Paris. No, no. Live native, Paris. native, native, native. Native Mali, live Mali. Live Mali? Yeah, live Mali. Live Mali available for Debian, Ubuntu? Yeah. And they're all very good, very smooth? Uh, no, <laughs> only yeah. for, for specified applications, ah. not, not for desktop, <laughs> not for average desktop. Is it possible you can use libharborist to optimize desktop? Hey, I guess so. But uh, I'm not sure about the status of libharborist. How about Helium? Helium. And maybe something else, uh, is this something I heard about. So, uh, and all the, the, all the ports here and everything is, is everything is optimized in, in the Linux support? Ah, yes. Yes, for this one, yes. Everything? Everything, yeah. All right. Cool. And uh, that's really awesome. What's next after this? Hey, after this, uh, uh, we'll... The secret? Yeah, actually secret. So actually secret. Yeah, okay. we, are, we are actually looking at some, you know, storage related, uh, yeah, things with uh, some, you know, blockchain technology, maybe uh, IPF cool. or something or stores, storage.